welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, um, well, we're following up on uh, some controversy brewing in the House of Representatives. Well, we've got uh, Honorable Abdulmum in Jibrin. He joins us uh, this morning. is to shed light on what he's been talking about for some days now. He's a former chairman, House Committee on Appropriation. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. You have been making some allegations that surprises a lot of onlookers who just wonder what in the world is going on. What is this allegation of yours about uh, padding by the uh, leadership of the House of Reps about? And uh, thank you so much. Uh, of course, uh, all the allegations I've made uh, on the four principal uh, officers of the House, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Deputy Speaker, uh, the Whip of the House, and of course the Minority Leader. I think it's all in, uh, in public uh, uh, clear. Uh, of course, uh, one I said. Uh, uh, they took the decision to appropriate for themselves 14 billion out of the 100 billion that was allocated to the National uh, Assembly. Uh, Mr. Speaker also forwarded a uh, personal request worth about uh, 30 billion, uh, which are all documented, and I was unable to admit it into the, the budget. Uh, I also raised uh, issues because there's been uh, a lot of talks about. Uh, uh, a lot of inputs in the budget from the National Assembly and uh, these are all ideas to me that uh, I introduce a lot of uh, items into uh, the National Budget uh, I've kept quiet for a while and uh, this also constitutes part of my uh, allegation but uh, I didn't do it in the annexes. I raised this issue with uh, Mr. Speaker that uh, just about 10 standing committees out of the 96 standing committees of the House uh, introduced about 2,000 2, items into the budget, worth about $284 billion. I've raised it with the Speaker. I have text messages where I have correspondence with the Speaker, where I have told him I raised the issue with him. I raised my fear about uh, such uh, things. <laughs> of course, he did nothing about it. Uh, and uh, but the whole country uh, thinks uh, it's Japan. Japan, everybody is Japan, Japan. Uh, I kept quiet. I took responsibility. I received a lot of passion all over the country uh, because I thought uh, it's a way of displaying reality to the institution. Anyway, I don't want to go too deep into that. Yeah, but, but uh, let me ask you because yes, one of the many questions out there is that why is this allegation coming now, especially uh, just about the time that you were no longer chairman of the Appropriation Committee? Okay, um, thank you for that, uh, uh, that question. Uh, two things. One, uh, when you have situations like this, uh, people don't know what is happening behind the scene. They only know what's on the scene. Uh, I did all I could internally, and I can prove it. Uh, to address, to get the speaker to address these issues. I fought the battle of my life internally, uh, trying to raise these issues, uh, trying to follow all the internal mechanisms of the House uh, to be allowed to brief my colleagues so that we can look at ourselves and frankly uh, decide how to deal with this issue. Uh, but Mr. Speaker and the three other principal officers jointly colluded and ensure that uh, I was consistently blocked uh, from having the opportunity to explain these things and also be refused uh, to deal with these uh, deal with these issues. On the other hand, as a young man within uh, that uh, system, uh, it is it, we have a tradition in this country. This scare you uh, in so many instances. You want to be a uh, whistleblower. Well, people tell you that uh, it will affect your public image, it will affect your career growth. They put a lot of fear in you. And I know a lot of young men like me all over the country fear this kind of issue in different sector of the country. And you can never imagine the number of young people that will live and die with this, with this kind of situations. So it is not that easy until you have a trigger 
uh, uh, my own case is a classic case of that. Uh, uh, I also had such, a, even now that I'm talking, if I'm going to be listening to some people, some advice, <laughs> I will just become so deeply scared and just keep quiet. Uh, because they will tell you that, uh, and that's all nobody can trust you anymore. But gradually, when you keep growing and you become stronger, you will also understand that uh, such thing doesn't matter so long as you are telling the, uh, the truth. So you know, you know. Let, let, let me take it up from and there. In this case, no, no, the, hold, hold on. Let me take it up from there. When you say, when you say, talk, saying the truth, I, I recall you've been on this program before when we saw uh, the budget going back and forth uh, uh, like a yo-yo, and we asked you the question uh, about padding, and categorically, you did say there was no attempt and there was nothing as padding in the budget. So, how truthful were you at that time to Nigerians? Okay. Uh, did you see me? Uh, did you hear me talking this morning? Call the word pardon. I didn't call the word pardon. I said imputes. I, I, it's imputes from the National uh, uh, Assembly. So uh, I have never used the word pardon. I don't use the word pardon. The National Assembly puts the imputes into the budget. The imputes can be rational, or it can be irrational, it can be too much, it can be more great. Honorable, if I could read out some of what you said at that time, you, you, you know, you, you have said at that time that, uh, these were your words, the National Assembly has the power to appropriate, you cited section 80, sub, uh, section 80 and section 81 of the Constitution to increase or reduce the aggregate expenditure to enlarge the revenue framework, increase or reduce the individual envelopes of various ministries. You also said, quote, we cleaned up the budget for the executive arm of government. There were a lot of things that were not included. We included it. And then you were there to just help them clean up the budget. So how come things have changed? Well, um, uh, it's not an uh, issue of uh, things that uh, changed, but it has really uh, changed. Uh, the debate now, it's on the side of the National Assembly, on the engine that we are inserted in the budget from the point of view of the National Assembly. And who incited those inputs? That is what we are discussing. It is not a case of uh, uh, the executive or the budget team of the National uh, Assembly. Uh, if you move over uh, to the executive arm of the men, there's also an issue there, but that is not what we are here to talk about today. When they have their own trigger, of course, their own issues will come up. Uh, several DJs of budget sacked and the rest of all recently, and other ones sacked, all related to budget uh, uh, issues. So there's also issues there, but I don't want us to mix up these two uh, issues. Well, no, we're, 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 not, we're not trying to mix them up. I, I think, uh, uh, I think, I think uh, our viewers, uh, uh, a moment on the moment, I think uh, Nigerians uh, are following up on this. You, you're also very active on. Uh, the social media uh, on your Twitter account, a lot of Nigerians are showing concern on this. That's why we're trying to look at this uh, carefully. But if you look at it critically, uh, we want to know why you decided. Because Chamberlain asked, why now? Perhaps we should go back to what you said. Uh, were you sacked? Did you resign? Uh, okay. I would also appreciate, as much as I know as a journalist, you want to get all the facts. Let's uh, try to put things a bit uh, in a tidy way so that uh, I will be allowed to also make my point uh, clearly while you ask your questions. Uh, I actually uh, resigned uh, and uh, for about three days I spoke to the speaker and told him that uh, I wanted to leave and uh, he keeps telling me that uh, uh, let's meet later in the day and discuss it. Let's meet later in the day and discuss it. And on the final day, when I walked up to him and I told him, but uh, uh, if you don't announce it, uh, I will announce it later, uh, later in the day. Uh, and uh, I was seated in my office when I was told that he announced it. But I didn't know he added uh, some bit of uh, issues uh, to it. It was only when I was watching the dented channels uh, at 10, uh, that I noticed that uh, he admitted that uh, I, I resigned. Then he said, but even uh, before that, 
that the leadership has already taken uh, the decision uh, to uh, to uh, to sack me, uh, and uh, he added that uh, because he. Put 